Welcome back my people, it's amazing to have you guys back on my channel. As you can see, I'm quite excited today because our AUDUSD trade has finally started to make some good money as you can see. I posted this earlier on my Twitter and the whole place went crazy. Now guys, you have to understand, I'm not really the type of person who likes to come on here and brag about how much money I make on uh, I make from trading um, because I just feel like it's a bit... Uh, it's a bit this is what we used to do like a long time ago, back in the days. Like it's for kids. Posting profit is for kids. But this time around, because of how uncertain the forex market was, you know, because of how up and down and roller coaster ish the forex market was, I felt like it was my duty to. And if you notice, I, I, I was always coming on here every week since we went into a range. I've been holding this AUD USD trade since the 23rd of March. This is the 26th of April as of today. So from when we got into the trade, the market just went into an absolute range. So I felt like I needed to come on here and constantly update you guys and tell you everything is going to be okay. Now, the reason why I'm able to do this is because I have absolute belief in my strategy and my approach to the market. And most of you guys know that that's the top-down analysis. You have to understand that the way I perceive the market is, now before I even get into how I perceive the market, you see, the problem and the challenge with most traders is this, their inability to just relax. <laughs> when the market went into a range, I knew there was going to be challenges for most traders out there because a range really tests the true faith of a trader in their strategy. Yes. And I started to notice that people were just jumping from one strategy to another strategy, from one pair. I was seeing people trading AUD CAD, Euro JPY. You can trade whatever it is you want to trade. I'm not stopping you from doing that. But this period just made me realize that, yo, the reason why only 5% of traders are successful is because of reasons like this. Lack of belief in your approach and lack of belief in your strategy. I remember when we got into the AUD USD trade, guys. Once I was able to do my top-down analysis, I could I could see a one thousand pip drop on AUD USD, and I'm going to explain that to you shortly. So I got into the trade. I had nothing to worry about. Although the last one month has been up, down, up, down. Just imagine, you know. And I'm not blaming anybody for this because it's you, you get into a trade today you're in profit tomorrow negative tomorrow profit tomorrow negative more negative more negative profit you understand it is very very tough for a lot of people to withstand that emotional roller coaster but the only way you'll be able to overcome that is if you have a strategy and approach to forex that you absolutely believe in and that's exactly what i have that's called the top-down analysis. Why do I believe so strongly in the top-down analysis? I'll explain to you guys. It's very simple. You see, what I like to do is this. I like to take one pair, at best two pairs. In this case, AUDUS. Because by the time I done my analysis, I saw that hmm, this year is going to be, the beginning of the year was very shaky. I could see it already from my analysis. But the top-down analysis helped me, first of all, understand that the euro, the pound, it's a bit confused, but AUD USD still has a pattern that looks very, very bearish. So I did my top down analysis. For those of you guys who do not know what the top down analysis is, basically when I go from higher time frame and I work my way down, if you if you, if you, if indeed you want to understand what I'm saying, you have to get the Forex Mastery program. The link is around here somewhere. By the time I'm done with this, trust me, you'll be begging me for it. Okay. So I looked at AUD USD and I saw that it still had a very bearish pattern, right? So what do I do? I ignore every other thing. I looked into it, I did my top-down analysis, and I forecasted 1,000 pips into the future. The top-down analysis helps you do this. Now, once I was able to see the bigger picture, right, what do I do? I scale down to a lower time frame, use my entry strategy forex mastery students you know this if you go to module five entry and exit is there module seven talks about top-down analysis forex mastery students you guys already know that and shout out to every single one of you who held aud usd with me i'm i'm, I'm I, I can see the screenshots people are sending me the money they made from aud usd i'm very proud of you guys that did this okay so like i said we forecasted 1000 pips into the future 
we got into the trade as with every other person and the market went into a nasty range now because of the belief because we can see the overall picture the bigger picture of what's going to happen we knew that a thousand pips was most certainly going to happen so when i got into the trade i held the trade and I was sleeping very calmly and very peacefully at night. In fact, I was so confident in the direction of AUDUSD that I always came on here week in, week in, and I told you guys, hold your trade and be patient. I said, I'm not touching anything else. This one is the one I believe is going to drop. Why? Because the top-down analysis, what I preach on the Forex Mastery Program is actually in play. So you tell me this. Over, I've been trading for 12 years now. I discovered the top-down approach maybe three, four years into my trading. So literally for the past eight years, the top-down analysis has made me very rich. So do you think I'm going to deviate from my approach i saw people saying oh just let it go just let, i'm like let what go this is what differentiates the winners from the losers in this game do you believe in your strategy i have a question for you do you believe in it if you believe in your strategy comment down below and say i believe okay and if you don't have a strategy you believe in i strongly suggest you get the top down analysis number one you are going to be right nine out of ten times number two it gives you absolute peace of mind and number three i have to warn you guys i've done my analysis which i'm going to show you guys this year is not going to be the easiest year to trade forex and that's the truth so you really need to get a strategy you believe in and hold on to it so that you can actually you can actually filter out the noise from the real action that's about to happen but enough about about that guys i'm going to jump into my screen right about now if you haven't already got in the forex mastery program which has the top down analysis do yourself a favor and grab it the link is around here some some somewhere guys i must also warn you one day you will be looking for the forex mastery program and you will not be able to find it we're working on some things behind the scenes so now is your opportunity to go ahead and grab it because i know myself my team is already saying sir we need to do this we need to remove this from the platform we need to do we need to dedicate this to more higher paying people they want us to chat because guys the results speak for themselves okay they're saying oh we need to increase the price and tailor it to investment banking traders and this and that make it even more proprietary so get it now while you can because one day i will come on my youtube channel and i will tell everybody it is impossible for you to get the forex mastery program so get it right about now save yourself all the headache so that you have a strategy you believe in and most importantly you can make some blues all right guys that's my time let's jump into the charts let's go all right guys thank you thank you for joining me inside of my screen it's always a pleasure to have you guys so what i have in front of me right about here now is AUD usd but you already know the drill before i can carry on with this video if you're not already a subscriber do that right about now so that you don't miss out on all this juicy stuff as you can see the chart is very clean simple and straightforward i'm going to break it down in what two three minutes simple straightforward once you're trading with dapper willis you know it's a straightforward thing to go but before you do that ensure or rather before i do that ensure to subscribe to the to the channel so i'll give you five seconds in five four three two one do that all right cool so what i have in front of me right about now oh i need to move this down because i feel like it wasn't recording properly all right that's fine so what i have in front of me right about now is AUD USD, which everybody wants me to speak about but i'm also going to be going over some other pairs just so that i can obviously clarify what exactly ha what exactly is happening in the forex market for those of you guys who've made money trading the forex market kudos to you guys um but it's actually not a lot of people because the market has just been moving sideways a lot of indecision and when there's indecision traders tend to lose their money right so and this is why i have like i said earlier i keep coming on here to guide you guys help you guys so you guys know okay do like this don't do it like this try and be patient blah 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 but you know you know how it gets like people are very eager to trade up and down the whole place and there's only so much i can say hopefully this time around you guys actually listen to me because for those of you guys who listen to me and stuck with me on AUD usd you would be smiling right about now now for AUD usd the the, the 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 price action is very very simple so i'm just going to delete everything about no actually there's no need to delete everything 
the price action is actually very very simple and straightforward you see one thing about me is i like to trade simple things i trade the obvious i'm not interested in being the most complicated or technically savvy trader which i know i'm very technically savvy but my point is you know simplicity is key in this game and the reason why i have been very confident in holding on to AUDUSD is very simple for those of you guys who are not Forex Mastery students, you're joining me for the first time, you don't know anything about the top-down analysis, it's so simple. You go on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, as you can see, it's a clear downtrend, okay? And when I also drew my trend line in the monthly time frame, I saw this happening. What this simply means is as long as we're beneath this trend line, the market is bearish. <laughs> as long as we're beneath this trend line, the market is bearish rich okay as long as we're what beneath this trend line the market is bearish so i have that at the back of my mind okay what do i do next i head over to a weekly time frame to see what exactly is happening and plot my key levels as you can see my key levels are nicely plotted i don't need an indicator to tell me this forex mastery students you know how the game goes just you know how to plot your levels i think plotting your major key levels is like maybe module three it's one of the first modules on forex mastery programs plot your levels and because the monthly has is pointing down once after i'm done plotting my levels i come on the daily time frame to only look for what is selling opportunities now you can see even just by looking at this just just by opening your eyes right it is very first of all we kicked off with a head and shoulder that gave birth to this we broke this support region we're putting a lower low on this drop to the downside i remember pro predicting this market to come here we made a lot of money this was sometime last year and then the market retraced back into this region we've come in here and we've put in equal highs as before this is actually a supply zone on a weekly time frame as you can see also you see very straightforward very very straightforward if you draw your fibonacci from swing low to from from swing high to swing low, you can see that this market has run into the 50 fib region known as the Willis zone, right? And as you can see, it has we've put in a bearish engulfing candle, and the market has come down. So this is telling you that yes, indeed, we did retrace. However, the retracement was capped by this resistance zone and the 50 Fibonacci level as well. So what this tells me is, first of all, monthly is saying down uh weekly key levels we've run into a key level and we've also run into fibonacci so everything is pointing downward so why on earth <laughs> why on earth will i be buying AUD USD? It doesn't make any sense like i keep telling you guys you know the bigger time frame paints the, the paints paints the picture for the lower time frame all the time happens all the time and while everybody was jumping around scouting for other pairs i, I spotted this on a higher time frame and because I'm able to look at this on a higher time frame, it's easier for me to project. Actually, my first entries are not even inside this range. On my proper account, because I have my personal account, we probably have like 3.5 million US in there, and my investor's account, you guys know I manage funds for the boys over in Qatar. My first entry is actually somewhere inside here because I was actually playing the A, B, C, D. So once we put in this bearish engulfing, we pushed back in here, we broke counter trend line. I was already short, so I actually have positions early on, but obviously I, I can't post that screenshot because that's very confidential. These ones in here I have already posted earlier at the beginning of the video, so you guys saw. Now, it's very simple and straightforward. From here, I already project, I said, if this market fails to break above here, go and watch my other trader talk video. I said, if this market fails to break above here, okay, then we have a problem that means this market has technically put in a lower high from here which it comfortably has you can see it's very simple and straightforward not only did we put it in here i saw a bearish engulfing candle at a major zone what come on and we started to print red candles Shh. we came here and guys you have to understand what is happening now this is a weekly time frame so one two three four so one two three four five six six and a half weeks six and a half week range you have to understand that this range was very very i wouldn't say necessary but it was highly expected because anytime we have you understand a drop off like this for every even if you look at here for look at this momentum there must be sideways movement one two three four five six 
It happens all the time. For every major movement, there must be a sideways movement. Okay, this one is just this turn upside down. Do you get what I'm saying? So we've come in. So when the market came into a range, I was very, very calm and very cool because if I look left, I can see that there has been a lot of selling pressure. Okay. Now you scale down to a daily time frame to try and refine your entries, you know, and stuff like that. When you then scale down to a lower time frame, for example, the daily, I like to go for. Uh, in this case, which is I like to. In this case, anytime I see a pullback like this, now for me, this was my opportunity to add more positions because I was already short inside here already. This is simply me adding more positions. I'm very heavily short on this bad boy. Okay, <laughs> I'm very heavily short on this bad boy. Now for me, this is this is where I came to add more positions. And guys, you can see a clear supply zone about here. We attempted it, okay? Although there's a resistance bar somewhere about here. People asking me, where did your stop losses go? I'll explain to you guys. There's a clear resistance bar here. We breached it the first time. People thought, ah, once we breached it this second time, people thought this was where the market was actually playing at. It wasn't here. The market was actually playing at the supply zone, which is actually all the way up here. So once I, do you understand, I was able to confirm that this supply zone was holding because we had dropped off, dropped off massively from here. The market pushed back in. Once I saw this double top, I already knew. Already I was short. I'd been short this market since very early on. I think I was short all the way. I think at the week of this candle, kind of somewhere around here, I used uh, one of my strategies to jumping. Stop losses must ab go above the supply zone. Must go above the supply zone. Did the market try and push into my, my stop loss region? Yes, a lot of the times. We th this push, push up was the first attempt, but because I knew this was here, and you can see it's simple and straightforward. I'm not that I don't have any indicators here. I don't have a suit say it's simple. Just look, this consolidation then drop off is either a supply or demand zone. Okay, and we come in here, the orders get filled, bam. We come back in here, the orders get filled, bam. We even tried it again for the third. If I was at this point, I knew, hasta la vista, done. <laughs> hasta la vista. We tried to breach it the first time, it didn't happen. We tried to breach it the second time. We came the third time, so was not, it didn't even have any energy. I knew it was, it was gone. So, it was it's as simple, very, it's as simple as that. Do you get what I'm saying? That's why I always say to you guys, let me, let me, let me also reiterate something, okay? Guys understand what i'm saying here please 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 get it get it i want to teach you how to first of all identify a pair that's going to trend a thousand pips then am i giving out too much forex mastery information i'm thinking this always goes through my mind because <laughs> you know my team watch these videos and they're like so you give out too much information so i don't really care today i want to share with you guys let's share let's see what's happening so first of all People always come at me and they say stuff like, uh, I can't trade your style of trading because I have a small account. My stop loss will be wide. But that's very false because even if you have a $200 trading account, you all you need to do is reduce. I do, my stop losses are not going ridiculously high. I'm not risking 300 pips to make 1,000 pips. That would be defeating the effort, right? I mean, as well just do 30 to 100 pips. No. What I do is I... My project, I forecast a thousand pips, and how do I do that from the higher time frame? You can see that we are unable to breach this level, we're now bearish. Where are we going to come to next if we come down? Is it not here? Simple. So, from here to here, this is 0.700 to 0.600. Is that not a thousand pips? So, I have all this space to myself to trade. That's exactly what I mean. Now, what happens is as the market now starts to on drop this a thousand pips. I will be looking for strategic pullbacks. In this case, the first strategic pullback was all the way in here. Actually, I used my counter trend line strategy to jump into, to, into, into this trade. I think it was somewhere about here. If I draw this properly on a lower time frame, you see what I mean? So we had a breakout and a retest about here. Actually, this is actually my first entry somewhere around here. Now, for this first trade, my my risk to, my risk was I was risking three percent, so I had to really reduce my lot size significantly because I knew that my stop losses had to be quite wide. So what you do is, if you have a small account, if you project one thousand pips into the future, the first trade isn't always going to give you uh, a decent place to put your stop loss. So you have to reduce your lot size 
in order to accommodate a wide stop loss. You see, the first, the essence of the first trade is not to make crazy amounts of profit. It's for you to be able to at least jump in, jump in to get a taste of the market. Now, once your first trade in this case, which was here, started to make me some profit, you have more confidence to one, your first trade, move your stop loss from wherever it is to break even, okay? Adjust it a bit lower, maybe 10 pips past break even. At least you've jumped in early. You know that this trade I'm already inside. So you do what they call a transfer of risk. So in this case, what exactly I did was very simple. Um, guys, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Somebody's annoying me actually. Somebody's pissing me off. I'm not happy right now. I'm just trying to be strong for this video. Somebody's annoying me right now. So what you then want to do is very simple. Um, sorry, somebody's distracted. <laughs> guys, somebody's pissing me off. Give me a second. I'll tell it to you guys. Give me a bit. Oh. Okay, back to what I was saying. Now, jump in at the beginning. Your, your, your risk to reward isn't going to be great. But where your risk to reward is actually going to start making sense is when the market now starts to make when the market now starts making lower lows and lower highs within that full move don't forget the full move is from here to here your duty is to first jump in early with a, a decent amount of stop loss but but your your lot size needs to be it needs to be small to accommodate that then as you drop and start to make profit you want to take that first trade lock in that first trade okay now subsequent trades are going to have smaller stop losses so where the real money is actually made is not in the first trade but in the second and the third trade do you get what i mean because don't forget the essence of this is you want to jump in you want when the train is when the when the train is leaving is the, the train station right you want you don't want to put all your all your eggs in one basket at at a go right you want to see, you, you want to be sure that this investment has potential okay once you're sure that this investment has potential and then we've dropped down and then we're not making low you know you can see that okay this guy is actually holding like he's holding this guy doesn't look like he wants to go back up that means that this thing might actually want to you know drop lower then you can now start looking to add to you can now start looking to add more sell positions now in the second trade your stop losses for example in this trade i had one trade in here i think here and somewhere in here and somewhere about here as well my stop losses are significantly smaller than the stop losses of here so once i was done with this obviously i had from one thing about me is think about it okay let me show you short positions sell position here i want you guys to understand what i'm saying do you get so this is looking like a seven six point seven nine so about a seven to one risk to reward on this trade now if we take this and put this here my stop losses have to come above previous highs for the first trade that's exactly what it is and then I have to drop all the way down here. So my first trade was actually 2.45 to 1. Now, this is what usually discourages a lot of people. They're like, mm, like, why would I? Do you get what I'm saying? Guys, the first trade is not where the gold is. It's in the second and the third trade. The essence of the first trade is for you to get a taste of the market so that you don't lose out completely. Guys, even if I make... Or, this is a 2.45 to 1, right? So about, let's say, 3 to 1, okay, if I adjust this properly. So if 3 to 1, do you know what a 3 to 1 is? If you're risking 3% of your account, that's 9% return on investment. So even if all I did was trade only this one, I'm still guaranteed of a 10% return on investment, about 9.2% about return on investment. Now, I don't know where you're coming from, I know for most of you guys who have small accounts, 10% might not make sense. That's fine. But where I come from, 10% is a lot of money. You have to understand that, guys, this is the financial market. This is not a casino. That's one. Now, I've even made things even simpler by saying, okay, I know you have a small account. That's fine. 10% return on, on $200 is $20. What the hell am I going to do with that? I get that. That's fine. So what you then need to do is 
you then need to wait for a second setup within the entire move. You see how I'm taking time to explain this shit? <laughs> okay. Take your time to explain this, right? Second trade is where you get to really flex because now you're certain of the direction and you know that if you, your stop losses go significantly above the supply zone, you know you're safe. It's here that you can really flex. Where you can actually really, really, really also want to flex is when this guy now really drops. Maybe we clear this, 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 this support zone about here significantly. What's going to happen is when we eventually clear, this market is just going to bleed. We might not have a pullback like this. So what you then want to now really, really go and do is you want to go on a one hour or a one hour time frame or a 30 minute time frame and look for those small retracements and jump into them. Those smaller retracements usually have a stop loss between the supply zone and entry probably have a stop loss of 30 pips so if it's somewhere about here that that happens you still have maybe another 350 to 400 pips so imagine you're risking 30 40 pips to bag 400 pips so you're risking 40 pips to bag 400 pips okay so that's where some real cool cash is going to be made but you have to strategically manage these positions. You have to ease into it. Okay? That's exactly how the game goes. Nobody's going to tell you this. Brokers don't want to tell you this. People see, most of the mentors you see out there, if I'm going to do is a video about the truth, uh, truth of Forex, I need to do something about this. I'm blow the entire industry into pieces because I'm sick and tired of seeing people create signal groups and all they do is just feed foolish signals through these groups because they're affiliated with different brokers. You understand what I mean? Affiliated with different brokers that, you know, have given them links and all they want to do is make a commission every time you trade. I'm not against being affiliated with any broker. You guys know I've been affiliated with brokers before in the past. As, as it speaks right now, we've been doing a lot of... Um, We've been we're doing a lot of stuff with Octi FX. I have no issues being, with anybody being affiliated with a broker, but if you're going to preach to your audience be truthful about it i'm not going to you'll never see me go on my discord group or my telegram group and force people to trade 12 times in a day that's not right that's not nice things like this you have to ease into it okay so this trade now i know exactly how long this is going to take so this for the market to go from here this is started on in february it's probably going to take us maybe the better part of four to five months but don't get it but you need to think about this how much pips did we bag in total i've got between between here to here is 1k pips between here to here maybe i'm looking at another well this is 0.600 so i'm looking at another 800 pips don't forget i have three positions inside here three multiplied by eight that's 2400 pips so 2400 plus this 1000 pips is what that's 3400 pips if i add these ones are going to come down here for another maybe 400 pips if i have two pos guys it's crazy in one move 1000 pip move that i'm sure about i can extract 5k pips with significant lot sizes i can use one move to double an account and still keep my risk at three percent this is the hack this is the game guys Ugh. people don't listen to me and then i go on twitter and i've got kids that you know there's one guy like he just keeps bothering me on twitter what i realize is people who come for me on twitter are literally just trying to grow their audience you know i'm like the jay-z of this game you know people try and beef jay-z's for attention or people try and beef drake for attention you know and i notice that it's high time for me to stop giving these kids attention because they actually don't really know how to trade that's the truth okay think about it it is easier for you to get one move and I like to do this with pairs that I understand. Sorry, I think I'm wasting too much time on AUDUSD, but I think it's more about the lesson and the message here, right? Um, I would stick to one pair that I know inside out. One thing I like about AUDUSD is I understand how the market, I understand the patterns when the market wants to go short, when it wants to go south. I understand it right the back of my head. I know exactly what it's going to do. Euro USD and GBP USD, these are my favorite pairs to trade. So whenever it is I spot a thousand pip gap between one zone and another zone, I almost know exactly how the market is going to react. Take one, one, and focus on it. So what, what, at the end of the day, we'll probably bag 5,000 pips from this. And if it takes the market from February to maybe June or July to get to its target, if you prorate it, that's a thousand pips a month. 
But people are like, oh, what, for five months? Oh no, I can't do this. Oh, for five months? Blah, blah. <laughs> you know, that's not how the game goes, guys. Come on, man. I keep feeding you guys. I'm begging you guys to trade like this. If you want to learn how to trade like this more, get the Forex Mastery program. What's stopping you? You want me to keep telling you guys every time, get it. Oh, you guys are stressing me, man. I'm sick and tired because what happens is, you know, I see boys in and out, in and out of trade, in and out of trade. At the end of the day, their accounts are gone. Do you get what I mean? Their accounts are gone. Okay? So, yeah, anyways, that's AUDUSD in a nutshell. Now, moving forward for AUDUSD. Um... I'm waiting for AUD USD to clear this support region about here. I'm actually going to be holding this trade for a very, very long time. You see, I will use only one move, one pair to double my account this year. Imagine I'm going to give my investors. So as we speak, I started off the year with $150 million. I'm going to flip $150 million to $300 million US dollars. One move, one pair. One move, one pair several positions you know you know what i'm saying like I, i'm focused on this guy do you get what i'm saying so anyways back to what i was saying now moving forward what do i think about AUD USD? it needs to clear this support region about here once we can clear this support region about here then next level target is all the way going to be down here and once we can clear 0 0.6 200 0 0.600 is the next level target um I'm not saying now this is my now going to be my primary area of concern as a forex trader as a diligent forex trader and you must always have regions of concerns which is here if I, if the market gets here and I see a bullish engulfing daily candle I will close out some of my positions inside here I will keep only the ones at the top open because we might pull back right but hopefully now this is entirely up to the law uh the the, the laws and physics of trading you understand what i mean depends on what's going to happen next that's completely out of my control i only trade what the market shows me right so this is where i say i hope that we do break down here and come down here i can't force it if i come and tell you guys it's going to come down here then you know who am i I'm like i'm not the guy who moves the market i'm just really good at interpreting the market so it's up to the market now if you want to continue to drop lower it's going to tell me by breaking down here so this is where the element of I won't say luck, but this is where the element of let the market do its thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, you can only hope at the end of the day. But so far, so good. I've been able to make a significant amount of profit. My first two, my, all my trades have, have, have moved stop losses past break even. I've been able to lock in some profit. Once we get down here, I'll take out some money. Ah, trust me, I'll probably take out like $30,000 out of here first. And wow, whole oh, one nice. I just bought a new ro I just bought a Rolex. I want to buy another one. <laughs> I'll buy a nice Sky Dweller. Sky Dwelly Dwelly. You get what I'm saying? Just hold it on my wrist and say AUD USD. Thank you. And then I'll go and do other things while the market continues to bleed. But what do I really think is going to happen? We'll break lower. <laughs> we'll break lower. Anyways, enough about AUD USD. Let's go over to Euro Dollar, right? So Euro USD, like I was saying to you guys earlier, what I feel Euro USD is actually up to, the Euro dollar is actually up to quite a bit. <laughs> Euro dollar might, oh, excuse me, guys. The Euro dollar might actually be looking at pushing into uh, 1.1400. Now, it really depends on, so because we've got a reversal pattern right about here. So this is a, a count, this, the, the, the trend, let me zoom in nicely. The trend about here, the trend about here has been violated because we've pushed, we've broken this trend line. And not only have we broken this trend line, we've formed a tweezer bottom. There's a tweezer bottom at a major at a major level pointing to the upside. So Euro USD is looking like you know we've got, you know, it is it, is this level is tempting Euro USD 1.1500. So I won't be surprised if you rally into here. Now, what's going to determine if we get up? In I'm sorry, people. Sorry, I had to cut the video short. You know, I love you guys. So we're going to get back into the analysis pretty soon. I know how much you guys love Trader Talk and all the amazing analysis I have to offer. Um, but I had to cut the video short because I want to show a company called OctaFX some love. The reason I'm doing this is because they have decided to support us on our journey to expanding this channel and ensuring that, guys, they just simply like the fact that we're very transparent on this on this channel and they just want to simply become a part of it. So they reached out to us and I was like, sure, why not? If you notice in the last video, I spoke about their copy trading application and this time around, they've reached out to us and said, could you show the 
the beautiful people on YouTube how amazing our application is. Yes, their trading application, they've actually got an application called the Okta FX trading application. I've taken a look at it and guys, trust me, I think it is really cool. And most importantly, I want to show them some love because it's very rare for you to see a broker come out here and actually be genuinely interested in the success of traders. Yes, they actually like the fact that we're producing quality information and we're being as transparent as possible. Yeah, so I'm going to jump into my Android phone right about now. I want to show you guys what the application looks like, how to create an account, how to trade on the, how to trade on the application and how to successfully and conveniently redraw your money. Now, before I jump into my phone, I know most of you guys, anytime you hear me, talk about an application or anything of that so you're just like oh my god here we go again now nah, just relax if they're rocking with us let's rock with them too right so don't go anywhere listen to what i have to say you just might really really like the application all right guys without any further ado let's take this application for a spin let's go let's go let's jump okay, let's go let's go all right, people, so welcome inside of my Android phone. As you can see, I've got my Android phone on one side of the screen. So I'm going to make this very brief and as quick as possible, but I just really want to show you guys how cool this application is. So very straightforward. The very first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the Play Store, head over to the Play Store and just simply type OctaFX at the top, right? So if you just type OctaFX and then you can see I have already downloaded the, app, downloaded the application ensure to make sure that you're really sure that you're downloading the right application usually the application anything that has to do with octa effects has a lot of reviews so if you can see here we've got 193,000 reviews and 4.7 stars pretty good that's a pretty good application so what you want to do is you want to click it i already have the application so i'm just going to click open but in your own case you're going to have to download it right so just quickly click open Okay, and then it's going to ask you what you want to continue with. If you don't have an OctaFX um, account or if you have one, what you want to do is you want to come and continue via, uh, well, I like to use continue via email. So you want to come here. If you don't have a trading account with them, you just want to fill in your information. Guys, we're not new to Forex, right? We all know how to create an account. It's simple. Put your first name, last name, email address, and a preferred password of your choice. So once you do that, you need to go ahead and confirm that you're not a US citizen because you know how you know stressful US citizens can be when it comes to opening trading accounts. So you need to confirm you're not a US citizen. Once you've done that, once you've done that, then you get to log into the application. Now I'm going to log in because I already got an account, right? I just recently created one because they were like, we're a cool broker, you know, trading with us. I'm like, all right, cool. Let's see what you guys got. So I'm just going to go into the login phase right about now. I think I'm going to have to blur this part out, uh, my password. So I'm just going to quickly type in my password, right? Uh, I hope you guys can't see this, but here we go. Okay. And then log in. They're probably going to ask me for like a code or so. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. So we're currently inside the Okta FX application, as you guys can see. Um, you can see that the application is not just a general MT4, general MT5. They literally have their own application, which I find really cool. So what we have in front of us here is my several trading accounts, which I was just playing around with. Like, I, I think I opened it. As at the last time I was doing the copy trading video for you guys to, to, to the copy trading demonstration. So now I this is a different visit. This is a trading application, not the copy trading one, just to make sure it's very important for me to clarify that. Now, what I have in front of me right about here. So if you come to the menu on the left hand side, which is this, you can see my name, blah blah blah. So you got a wallet. So you want to come to your trading accounts which is here now for most of you guys this might be empty right so you want if you want to create a real trading account just click the plus sign right about here and it's going to ask you which of these do you want to use so you can choose from OctaFX MT4, OctaFX MT5 or they've got something called the Octa Trader, right? So what I did was I created both the MT5, I configured for the MT5 and I configured for the Octa Trader as well. Now, as you can see, I've got one MT5 account, actually two. One I didn't really find, the other one I've got. So I've got an MT5 account and I've got an OctaFX trading platform account so what this simply means is if i use the mt5 one it takes me to the mt5 
the MetaTrader 5 application, right? But if I click on this one, which is the Okta FX application, so they've actually got like where you see charts and all. I'm going to show you guys right about now, right? So first things first, you want to, before you can use the account, you want to go ahead and deposit money to your trading account. So you want to come here and click deposit. If you want, obviously, I've got a miserable $29. So I was the, the truth is I was testing to see uh, the best way for me to deposit. So obviously, I didn't really send a lot of money. I just wanted to see what was happening, right? So I went ahead and did that, and I was able to, I, I was able to deposit, I think it was 60 bucks, and I shared it amongst both the MT5 and the Okta trading account. Um, so to be honest, I'm going to honest with you guys, the fastest way for you guys to go ahead and deposit money if you live in Nigeria is the instant bank transfer. It's so simple and straightforward. Or you can use the TIFA, TRC20, if I'm not mistaken, that should be USDT. Um, so if you click on the, the TRC20 deposit option, it then launches your Binance application where you can directly deposit from there. But I use the instant bank transfer because obviously I've got a narrow account. So it was pretty straightforward for me. So you want to put how much you want to deposit. So if you want to deposit 20,000 Naira, go ahead, done. Actually, you should deposit maybe 500,000 Naira. Let's see. So you can see how, what the equivalent will be 674 US dollars. So if you do done, and then you want to specify your bank name. I like to use CUDA Bank. Shout out to CUDA. <laughs> CUDA Bank. So if you want to, for those of you who always see me on my giveaway, you see I always use CUDA for my giveaway. So I use CUDA Bank as well. So you want to click 50, 500,000 Naira, your bank, and then click confirm. And then you can see it will tell you the account number, which is your Octa FX. So you see the platform is called Octa Trader. Yeah, I was mistaken that the platform I'm going to be showing you guys how to use is called the Octa Trader, right? So the same way there's MT4, there's MT5, they also have their own platform called the Octa Trader, right? Payment method, instant bank transfer, blase, blase. And then you want to go make a deposit. And then this is going to pop up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, mate, we got a video to get back to. So what you wanna do here is very simple and straightforward. As you can see, once you open your bank application, simple, all you need to do is go on there, they're gonna ask you, what account do you wanna pay money into? So you wanna click, you, as you can see, they've showed you the account right about here, which is Sterling Bank, and this is the bank account number, and then 500K. So once you do that, literally it takes like two minutes. I kid you not. So once the transfer goes through on the application right in front of us, right about now, the screen literally changes and shows you we have received your deposit. So that is going to be converted immediately to US dollars, which in this case was 674 US dollars. So that's pretty much it. And that's exactly how you get your account funding with the instant bank transfer. It's so simple, so straightforward, you know, and the rest they say is history. So I would suggest either use instant bank transfer or the TRC20. Now, once we're done with that, it's time for us to see how, you know, we can actually get some trading done. So if we want to trade, simple and straightforward, just head over to trade and voila, the application pops up. So this is what I was telling you guys about. It's a bit different. It's, I like to try new things. I like to see what, you know, developers are working. I like to see what companies are bringing to the table because for the longest time we've been using MT4 and MT5, this looks a bit different. So feel free to give it a try, guys. Okay. Feel free to give it a try. And shout out to the guys at OptiFX for coming up with something creative and, of course, reaching out to us for this review. So what you have in front of you is all the instruments, as you can see. So various instruments, so Euro, USD, um, GBP, USD, Blasi, Blasa. And you've got crypto as well. You've got indices, you've got metals, energy, everything you want to trade. Crypto recently, obviously, I can't really uh, give you guys any trade advice right about here because i don't want to seem like octa fx is giving you guys any trading advice you know so once we're done with this segment and you go back to the trader talk video then we can talk about what's actually happening in the market but for now i just want to show you guys what the application is about um and then so you want to listen to what i have to say and my advice and then come back to the application and then execute uh your your trade so in this case i want to uh, let's just take uh, let's just take for example let's take uh, AUDUSD. Most of you guys know AUDUSD is one of my favorite pairs. So we're gonna sell. As you can see, just click sell. This is really different. It looks different from what every other person has. Let's quickly sell. Let's see. So got it. Ooh, 
Come down, come down, baby. Come down, come down, baby. <laughs> come down. So at the bottom panel here, you can literally look at your equity. You can look at your trade history. Um, you can look at everything. So this is your the current market, what you have open as we speak. So um, AUDUSD is currently negative 17 cents. You can look at your pending orders right about here. Come on, guys. You guys are traders. You guys know exactly how the game goes. So it's simple and straightforward. And if I want to go ahead and close this position right about here, I just click the X button and then close. And there you go. Obviously, I'm not going to. I've got traders running, but this is just for you guys to see <laughs> how it's done, right? And then most importantly, you're probably asking the last but not the least. The last but not the least is how do I take my money out of these guys? Like, I want to know, where do I, where, how do I go to take my money out, right? So we're going to go to, no, wallet, give me a sec. We're going to go to your trading accounts, right? So you got the Okta FX1, MT5 one, right? Don't forget, guys. You can also, if you want to use MT5, so you can click MT5 as well, MetaTrader 5, and you, oh, you have to sign, it automatically signs in for you. It might ask you for your password, so don't forget to check your OptiFX email. And there you go, it's, it's as simple as that. You got MT5 and their special trading platform as well on one application, which is pretty cool. So yeah, anytime you want to come back to where your trading accounts is, just click your trading account, just click on it right about here. And then next thing is, yeah, I want to take my money out. So Octa effects, how do we take our money out? Yeah. So what you want to do is you see all where your accounts are, where it says trading account. Just come click on the account you want to take money out from. Click withdraw. And then please you need to verify your account to redraw funds. Alright, cool. So I think I need to send in more information to them. So that's fine. Let's see how what's the process to get verified. Okay, cool. So now you see all this stuff most people don't really know. So you want to upload your information, your NIS, your um your ID type, so not NI, your passport, your driver's license, residence permit. So I'll probably use my uh, passport for this. If you don't have your uh, passport, you can not. NI, I think it stands for National NIN Number. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> you know, in Nigeria, we have various forms of identification. Now, if you're watching this from overseas, you can use your driver's license or your passport. And then you want to upload the front side and then upload your birth certificate and all of that. But I'm very certain their, their customer service department is very, very up to speed on all of that. Very, very up to speed on all of that. And I'm very sure. Hold on, guys. I'm very sure that they will definitely be in touch. Um, they will definitely be in touch. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> They will definitely be in touch when it comes to opening your trading account in terms of withdrawals and blah, 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 and all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's all you pretty much need to know about the trading application. I just wanted to show you guys this application because I thought it was quite cool. All right. So, there you go, guys. Pretty much easy, straightforward. Don't forget, quick rundown. You want to trade. Let's come on here. Click trade. If you want to trade AUDUSD, click. Ooh. It's jumping up again. Let's buy <laughs> let's buy guys this is a lower time frame you guys know i don't trade on lower time frames it's just an, it's just an absolute mess but it is what it is anyway so there you go guys that's pretty much the trading application in a nutshell if you want to redraw your money don't worry the same way if you just put your money in there it's the same way the money is going to come out you have nothing to worry about all you just need to do is verify your account so let's say you want to quickly jump on a trade, right? They allow you deposit so you can quickly jump on the trade. While your trade is ongoing, you need to quickly go and verify your trade so that they know that you are actually a real person, right? You're not trying to play anything, any fun games, right? So once you do that, simple, straightforward. Once you verify your account, you just put your account details in there. The same way the money went in is the same way the money is going to come out, right? So you got nothing to worry about. All right, guys. So that's the app in a nutshell. Time for us to go back to the video. Let's go to here is how we perform around here this resistance bar about here so i'll go over to the daily time frame to see what exactly is happening so from what i can see that is happening the euro dollar is actually aggressively at this major resistance somewhere about here aggressively checking out here checking out here i won't be surprised if we blow all the way to the upside okay I won't be surprised if we blow all the way to the upside another question somebody asked me is how are you able to stay committed to your bearish position on AUDUSD when Euro USD was going higher. One thing about me is I trade every pair individually. I'd like to trade pairs individually. There are so many times in the past when I was obviously upcoming in the game whereby I said because Euro USD was dropping, GBP USD would drop. GBP USD went and had a very bullish day that day. 
<laughs> and stop me out. Okay, Yuri Yossi went and had a very bullish day and stopped me out. So, I don't like to join issues when it comes to, I don't like to join issues when it comes to Forex. <laughs> I treat every, every single one of them very differently. Now, at the moment, Euro USD, I would advise you guys not to trade it that much because we're currently at, this is, this is significant resistance about here. The market is jumping up, jumping, it will jump up, jump down, jump up, jump down. I'm not really interested in this one, what this has to offer at the moment. I would like to see a clear big break of this green bar here. If you really just breaks this green bar, see, I should have been long somewhere around here. He paid me that I did not jump in. I was too focused on AUD USD, but that's fine. It's paying off, right? But I should have been bullish euro usd that's a regret of mine but that's one of those things as you can see i'm being very honest and transparent about it um i should have been very very i should have been very 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 um vigilant about this but that's happened do you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> for me to want to jump into real usd clear guy you ask clear here when you clear here then i'll jump all the way and i'll buy it all the way to the top side but if that doesn't happen that's fine or we can just bleed all the way to the downside but right here we're at decision zone what decision what zone let me just adjust this properly same thing with gbp usd as well we are currently at what a decision zone but the problem with gbp usd is even if we break out of here the rally point isn't so much so because we have the next supply zone at one two six six seven two so maybe we may want we, we might want to come test this one point two six six seven two before we drop lower i don't really know what's going to happen to gbp usd i'm not really interested in gbp usd at the moment one thing about me is guys i like to trade patterns that i understand and this should be a lesson to you guys okay this should be a very very strong lesson to you guys okay trade patterns that what you understand like gold right now i don't even like who is this guy i can't even recognize what gold is doing i can see what it's doing i probably know what's going to do next but i'm not going to stake my money on it you have a high you have a low you have a high you have a low you have an equal high how can you give me an equal high and give me a lower low and then when you give me a lower low, you don't continue going lower. You now come and you are now giving me equal highs. Dude, if you're looking for whose money to eat, it's not going to be mine. <laughs> if you're looking for whose money to eat, it's not going to be mine. You're not having my money, bro. I ain't giving you my money. Let's see what oil is doing. Oil is confused as well because of all the crisis going on. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. In a nutshell, um, I'm going to let you guys be right about now. I'm not going to be jumping on my charts anytime soon until um the market is done doing what he wants to do right now i'm gonna go chill and allow the market uh make all the money for me i'm gonna go jump on the jet have meetings with my investors smoke expensive cigars drink champagne relax because guess what guys i was right and they were wrong <laughs> i'm joking guys but yeah um is there any setups happening right now? Unfortunately, none. GBP USD major resistance, Euro USD major resistance. Uh, would they listen to me right now? No. Signals will drop in diff different signal groups. People will trade. I get it. Brokers need to make money, so <laughs> I don't know why. I'm literally on a rant today, but it is what it is. Like I can't stop people from doing what they want to do. But once again, ensure to grab the Forex Mastery program so that you can trade the markets like this and see it the way I see it. And most importantly have peace of mind and have enough money you gotta have some f you money right you understand what i'm saying so once again guys i'll catch you on my other screen take it easy and i love you guys peace out let's go thank you guys for staying till the very end of this very lengthy video i love you guys very much if you haven't already subscribed to the channel ensure to do so don't forget to grab the forex mastery program and i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos take it easy and peace out